This is Mario with MI Microflight once again and in this video I'll be talking about the differences between the original Movula 7 with the one that I've been putting together that uses the Cadex Turtle V2 camera with the DVR. The Movula 7 is a great little flyer as it comes out of the box. It flies on one and two cells which is what I like about uh, this particular drone. It's a very versatile you can fly it one salt very nicely as I do and you can really put this into high gear you know with the two salts for those of you that have the Movula 7 this may not be new so you know you already know that now when we start going with micro drones you know to the three pack or three cell battery packs we totally change the uh, dynamics to these little tiny drones I mean this for this particular size 75 millimeters from uh, motor to motor is about the right size for a one to two cells when you start packing this with a three four cell even you know it becomes really really heavy and you're really asking the little motors you know to do quite a lot for that much weight so from that point of view my target has been to see if I can make one with these components that I mentioned you know with the same components as a Mobula 7 perhaps uh, better motors and better props uh, on a very slightly larger airframe, this one is uh, my own frame that I talked about in an earlier video that I just posted to my YouTube channel. This one is 95 millimeters from corner to corner, or from motor to motor diagonally. So, my goal has been to make this also uh, operable at uh, one or two cells. Preferably, one would be the ideal because. If I can uh, make this all in, in one cell, it just minimizes the complexity. You can you still use some of the batteries that are out there that people have for the other little tiny drones. And you don't have to go to a three-pack. You know, you don't have to make it too heavy. It's already getting heavy by the use of this particular camera. This is a Cadex uh, Turtle uh, uh, V2, as I mentioned, with the uh, DVR. So, you know, when you start including all these um, devices on a little tiny drone, you know, it starts getting a little bit heavier your performance is going to suffer obviously I mean from a logical and practical standpoint your performance is not going to be the same as the stock Mobula 7 which is designed you know for racing on the two cell so that's something to consider something to keep in mind and and so that's what I've been uh, one of my design goals or challenges has been you know to see if I can get away with maximum two cells on this uh, little guy now I have some tricks that I'm going to be employing here. I don't have the electronics yet but I ordered another Mobula 7 and I also ordered some motors and um, uh, different propellers that I'm going to be employing on this little guy here. So these propellers are the same as the, uh, the spare ones for the, this Mobula 7 that I'm just using for sizing references. But once I get the electronics I'll be installing those here and I think this is going to be fine on a two cell. Now they just came out with a new Mobula 7 HD which basically uses the same camera, the Cadex uh, Turtle V2, same components and they kept the, um, the size the same, of course that camera is mounted high as I, I mentioned in my earlier video. I don't like the fact that the cameras, when the cameras start getting on top, packing on top of the, the quadcopter, it starts getting too bulky for my taste. As you can see this one is very low profile, streamlined and that's how I like designing. Uh, my, my uh, quadcopters and so that's how all my frames have been you know since the time I started designing uh, uh, little tiny quads and drones and tricots and all, all those types of uh, models so I like my low, lower profile in fact I am going to be lowering this camera a little bit more even because I do have the room but you can't lower it too much to where the camera sticks out out of the bottom of the frame because now you know you risk hitting something you know with the, with the bottom of the frame but as far as the uh, layout is concerned you know I like everything streamlined so that's my Movila 7 uh, Pro which I'm calling it the Pro for uh, cinematography uh, purposes I will not be doing any racing with this my purpose is not to do racing that's, that's why I have this little guy here which is fun and it's just fine the way it is on two cells but this one's going to be more for capturing footage high definition footage with these little cameras and probably going a, a little bit faster than you would with a cinematography a setup such as this one so that's what this one is designed for it's not designed to run on three cells I do want to run it on two cells so all the components are designed or selected 
to run on two cells. When you design these things, you know, you have to consider the, uh, first of all, the total weight of the unit, how much lift you can get out of each motor, so that, you know, you have to spec the, the motors correctly, and also you have to spec the uh, uh, components correctly that are supporting the motors, the ESCs, everything that, uh, the, um, all the electronics, the flight controller, all those things that, um, that can run, you know, from one, one or two cells. Um, so if you can get everything in concert, you know, you can really end up with a really, really nice customized setup, and that's that's what my, my target is with this one here. So I'm waiting for the electronics to come in, and once I do that, I'll be setting that up on this particular MIA Microflight uh, Mobula 7 Pro. I typically don't like to use the same names when I design something, uh, you know, from the bottom up. This is from the bottom up. Um, uh, although you know I had I did have to use the uh, dimensions as references 75 millimeter then I went to a 95 millimeter and of course the, the frame has to have some logical and practical structure to it to maintain its rigidity and uh, structure so this is the, the frame what it looks like underneath I don't have the battery straps yet because I haven't yet decided what type of batteries I'm going to use I do like I said want to use the two cell batteries maybe a 450 milliamp just keep it lightweight and manageable and in uh, batteries that are out there that everybody has you know when you start going to a different pack that no, nobody nobody has on, on these uh, other little quadcopters you know now you now you're stuck buying new batteries and it's just another expense so from that point of view you know I like to reuse the things that we already have accumulated in our hobby um, this one as I mentioned here has provisions for this clamp right here is all, the, all these things are my own um, uh, iterations, my own designs, and based on what I feel would uh, make, uh, uh, will clean up the details that on the Mobula 7 are kind of left loose. I, you know, I pointed out some of the uh, uh, tie wraps that I'm using, you know, to uh, tidy up the motor wires, the landing gear, of course, the suspension there. And I'm thinking of doing something similar to this one as well, you know, just to have a little more suspension so that when this lands, it doesn't land hard on the bottom section. I mean, you could you could put foam pads here, you know, just like the uh, five inch quads are have, have been done. Uh, I mean, I used to do that with the Blade MQX and Lady Bird when they first came out when nobody uh, had uh, any any uh, quadcopters or drones at, at the time. So I go back uh, uh, quite a while, you know, doing the upgrades for a lot of these things, including the micro helicopters, as I mentioned in some of my videos. So, uh, so all these all these things that I've done to tidy this up, I mean, uh, I've incorporated as part of the frame here, uh, and, and the, this connector clamp is is one of them. This is a dual connector. Now, I may opt to just simply uh, actually this will work with an XT30 as well. You, know, you can just shove the XT30 there, and it'll clamp it. Uh, the other thing that I mo mentioned is this little socket here for the uh, beeper or the buzzer. You know, that's, it's your little buzzer when your battery runs all it starts beeping that's that's what that's for so this is my frame for the Mobula 7 that I'm calling it the uh, MIA Microflight Mobula 7 Pro this is Mario with MIA Microflight stay tuned for the upcoming video where I'll show all this uh, uh, put together and flying